At Greater Sydney Local Land Services, we work with landholders from all different sized properties. We like to encourage those landholders to think of their soil as an asset that they're going to protect and manage and look after better. Having the knowledge of what's beneath the soil surface is really important and taking soil samples and having those samples analysed is the first step towards that knowledge. As a soil scientist, we work with landholders to identify the type of soils that they have and to help them meet their growing objectives. Soil testing really will inform your management decisions. It will help you identify what your inputs will be, what your outputs are going to be and how you're going to achieve those targets. Naturally, the seasons will govern what kind of crops you're putting in and it's really important to test your soil before you're about to put in your crops. So once you've finished with your spring harvest, um, those, those crops have taken out a whole bunch of nutrients from the soil and you're going to need to replenish them before you put your summer harvest in. So testing is really important before you invest in all of the time and the labour and the money that you're going to put in to your next harvest. There are plenty of things that you can test for yourself in the field. You can test soil texture by doing what we call a ribbon test and that will give you an understanding of the proportions of silt and clay and sand. We can test for organic matter by simply seeing how the soil can stain your fingertips. We can test for uh, compaction and hard pans in the soil by simply getting a rod and seeing how much pressure you need to exert to get through that soil profile. We can test drainage and the permeability of your soil by taking a known volume of water and essentially just timing how quickly or how slowly it will take to drain that water through the soil profile. And then of course you can purchase a pH test kit for around $20 or $30 and you can get those from hardware stores or nurseries and, and that's a really simple way of measuring your pH. When we speak about topsoil, it could be anything from sort of zero to 300 mil or deeper or shallower in various sites, but that's the, um, that's the horizon that we're really interested in, in terms of plant nutrition. So when you're sending us a soil sample, what we'd like you to do is collect around about a couple of generous handfuls in a sealed bag. When you're collecting those samples, try and collect several subsamples from within that area and mix them together really well. We don't need a lot, but we do need to make sure that's representative of the entire paddock. As I said, put it in a sealed bag. Try and retain some amount of air in there because if you exclude it all, you can change some of the microbiology or some of the chemical processes that are going on in there. Keep it in a cool um, area until you get, us, uh, get it to the lab. Uh, generally, we'd like it within a day or two. And finally, when you send us your sample, make sure it's got your contact details on there and the type of tests you need. So naturally, there are some costs associated with testing your soils in a laboratory. It can range from $50 up to a few hundred, depending on the type of tests that you're having done. But talk to your lab or your soil consultant and they can tell you exactly how much you can expect to pay and how quickly your results will get to you. But it's really a small investment that can lead to much bigger cost savings in terms of your crop production. Greater Sydney Local Land Services has dedicated staff that are committed to helping landholders with what they need as far as advice and resources and information for their properties. They just need to feel free to contact us, they'll be put in touch with the right person with the right information to answer all their questions.